Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very much. If you dig sneakers, then you have come to the right place. Welcome. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We do a brand new video almost every single day. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Former Simpson to kind of keep up with things down here at the workshop, the goings ons, so to speak. Now, this pair of sneakers today, very, very expensive. It's like the emoji with the uh, dollar sign on the eyes and the tongue, very expensive. Let's break them out and then we will discuss a little bit more. Give me a drum roll. No. Okay, no drum roll. I'll do my own. Brrr, bang, bang. This is a pair of Chanel sneakers in pink suede calfskin. Retail on this particular pair is 950 bucks, almost $1,000. That's crazy in my opinion, but we talk about it often. The money aspect when it comes to designer sneakers specifically and why they are so expensive. We've done a bunch of designer sneaker videos. Balenciaga, Gucci, Versace, Fendi, more Balenciaga, more Gucci, and now Chanel. Some I love and some I hate, but the prices on all of them are pretty insane. That's kind of like the common denominator. There's a local resale shop down here in Tampa, Florida called Kicks R For Us. I'm sure a lot of you have heard me mention them before. We get a lot of sneakers from them. Well, I was in there yesterday perusing, browsing the shelves, and I saw this pair. It's a women's sneaker and it's not my size, but even if they were, I would never buy them. I did start to think though, damn, why? Wow. And it made me want to take them back and throw them on the operating table, so to speak. Like, what justifies the price tag? It's a nice looking sneaker, very nice actually, and it's got kind of a classic sneaker look to it, for lack of a better way to explain it. Just the shape of the shoe and the overall silhouette. See on both sides, like Chanel, word to Frank Ocean. And I do like the Chanel logo. I always thought that that looked pretty cool. And I really dig the different shades of pink and tan. It's one of their nicer colorways in my opinion, gum bottoms with a little more Chanel branding. Leather interior. I mean, they do feel kind of premium, but I'm not blown away by the quality at all. It isn't like, yo, this is the nicest sneaker ever created and the craftsmanship is just insane. It's a nice suede, but New Balance, for example, makes sneakers that have way better quality and craftsmanship and they sell them for like 150 bucks. So it's not that. That doesn't justify the price tag. It always comes back to the same thing. The name the perceived value, the branding, the marketing. That's really what it's all about. People will spend money just to say they spent money or just to show other people that they spent money. It's consumerism, whatever you wanna call it. It's a slippery slope. I mean, people were just recently buying Travis Scott cereal for 30, 40 bucks, maybe even more than that, and it cost $3 at Walmart. It's almost like FOMO or something. You don't wanna miss out. You wanna have the coolest stuff and more specifically stuff, as I mentioned, that people know you spent money on or no is super exclusive. And it goes across the board from the iPhone to cars, to sneakers, to wallets and purses. It's just such a big part of society. You could take this Chanel logo off the side and put Skechers branding on in its place and you'd barely be able to give them away. Same sneaker, same quality, same craftsmanship. People wouldn't want to pay 50 bucks. I'm not making fun of people, by the way, who buy designer sneakers or like name brand things. Like I said, there are pairs that I love myself and I've spent more money on sneakers than I would care to admit in my life. So the last thing I can do is judge someone else, but I can admit how crazy it is sometimes. You have this designer sneaker way up here, a regular sneaker 
just as good technically way down here. And obviously everyone's financial situation is different. For me, I would never spend a thousand dollars on these. I just couldn't do it. Once a sneaker gets over like 500, 600, I'm like, ah, maybe not. And if it doesn't retain a resale value, it's even a little bit more. You're like, ah, oh, man, it just doesn't seem like a good investment. Even if you're going to wear them, even if you don't plan to sell them, something about knowing that you could eases the pain a little bit. I think having said all that, what's the difference between the person who has five pair of designer sneakers at a thousand dollars a pop or the person who has 25 pairs of Jordans and Nikes for a couple hundred bucks each. They both spent $5,000. So it does depend how you look at it. What are your thoughts though? How do you feel about designer sneakers in general? What's the most you would pay for this pair? Or what's the most you'd pay for a pair of sneakers, period? That's probably a better question. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop. Until then, adios.